The fourth event of the Army Combat Fitness Test is the Sprint Drag Carry. The purpose and tactical significance of the Sprint Drag Carry is to be able to measure a soldier's ability to perform in a combat situation, to be able to move under a load, to be able to drag a casualty, and be able to provide proper equipment within a short period of time. On the command of go, the individual will begin by running down the lane uh, and touch with the hand and foot on or beyond the 25 meter lane. Then they will run back. When they come back, they will secure the sled. They will then begin by going down, pulling the sled, walking backwards, all the way until the sled and themselves have surpassed the line. They will then turn around and come back until the sled has completely crossed the starting line. Then they will begin the lateral. They will face in either direction, left or right, their preference, and they will lateral all the way down until their hand and foot touches the far line. Then they will lateral back in the exact same direction until they've surpassed the starting line. Then they will secure the kettlebells and they'll go all the way down to the far line where their foot will touch the line. They will then come all the way back, set the kettlebells down in a controlled manner as not to throw them or toss them, and then they will sprint down where their hand and foot touch on or beyond the line and then they will sprint back, completing that event. For the gold standard or moderate, you will need to execute this in three minutes and 35 seconds. To get the gray standard or significant, you will need two minutes, 45 seconds. For the black standard, you will need to complete this in two minutes and nine seconds. And for the maxing of this event, you will need to complete it in one minute and 40 seconds.